brass don't trust some of the men close to the president. Does anyone trust anyone anymore? Do you even trust your own wife? Do you? Mostly. Hey, welcome on back to You Me in the Movies. Tonight, we got a special request. Special request. Granddaddy the Dudester. Coming in hot. With the request of. Well, it's Memorial Day. Oh. Uh -huh. So we're going to watch a war movie. Sweet. And he selected Tora, Tora, Tora. Nice. The war about the attack, or the, the movie about attack the attack. Attack on Pearl Harbor. Attack on Pearl Harbor. <laughs> and he says in the opening scene. You see a Japanese battleship. Since the Japanese haven't had a battleship since 1945, the film studio built an 800-foot-long replica. Wow. If you're careful watching as the camera pans, you can also see a replica aircraft carrier to launch planes from. Also, during the bombing scene, you will see a fighter plane on the ground go out of control and crash into parked fighter planes. This was a stunt gone horribly wrong, and stuntmen on the ground are actually running for their lives. Oh, shit. So. Cool. He picked this movie for Memorial Day, and we'd like to thank all of the veterans. Happy Memorial Day, and thank you for your service. Absolutely. And uh, this is the first time watch for both of us, because I've never seen it as well. All right. Yeah. 1970, Tora, Tora, Tora. Now, this is an interesting movie, because it's from both the perspective of Americans and, and the Japanese. The Japanese yeah. So, half subtitles, half American English. So. Amazing. Well, should we jump in and head to Hawaii? Absolutely. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Tora, Tora, Tora. And if you feel like it, you can be like the Dudester. Yeah. Try to snag your own special request slot. You can get that by going to our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, full link, and access to polls up the big watch next. Link down there. Check it out. So Twitter and Instagram. Follow us if you want. And if you don't, don't worry about it. Totally. Let's watch Tora, Tora, Tora. Here we go. American Pacific Fleet was attacked, partially destroyed by Japan on Sunday morning, December 7th, 1941. This attack led to the entering of the world, United States into World War II. All of the events and characters depicted are true to historical fact. Holy fucking shit. Tora, Tora, Tora. I wonder what that stands for. Do you know? What do you think they're all standing around waiting for? It's a lot of officers. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's standing around I think he's about to attack the Americans. Not run from them, anybody. Some good bugling. I never understood. Whistle's a little weak. The high pitched whistle for ships. Never understood it. So you can hear it's because the waves are so loud. Is that, is that a thing? It's not a pomp and frickin' circumstance for one dude. He's kind of a big deal. Oh, it's the changing of the guard. I get it now. Okay, I'm like, what? Why are we making such a big deal for this guy? He's just heading to breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His pants looked like shit. His pants? Yeah, for being a naval officer, They're they wrinkly. were super wrinkly. <laughs> Somebody should be fired for not starching his pants enough before they ironed them this morning. <laughs> Oh, wow. So. They had some infighting happening yeah, between their branches, different. huh? I had no idea. I had no idea. 
東南アジアからは撤兵している状態ですアメリカがフィリピンに極東軍司令部を設け There's a lot going on、mm-hmm. Germany, Japan and who else was? I think it's Italy Italy yeah. Mussolini This little machine enables us to intercept every word that passes between Tokyo and all Japanese embassies. The coded material is fed into that machine. It goes round and round in there and comes out here, decoded in Japanese. All we have to do is translate it. Wow. How the fuck did they do that? Scientists. No wonder you decided to call it Operation Magic. Or magic. That's what I was thinking, yeah. The chosen few have been authorized to see the magic intercepts. But Hap Arnold, Chief of the Air Corps, isn't on the list. No. And not one of our overseas commanders. Because they could be captured. Yeah. Missed. Three guys in those torpedo planes. Yeah, interesting. You ever been to Pearl Harbor? Mm hmm. Took the little submarine tours they have there. Yeah, me too. It's like right where that last shot was, <laughs> is where the tours are. Look at that entrance to the harbor. Sink one good sized ship in the channel and you bottle up our whole fleet. With a torpedo drop from a plane, will plunge to a depth of 75 feet or more before it levels off. I know, and Pearl is only 40 feet deep. I'm still worried, Jim. Rightfully so. I have a feeling they're going to get attacked. Nah. I guess this guy has his own private jet. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I heard the Zero is pretty, uh, pretty intense fighter jet or fighter plane. <laughs> There's a lot of freaking commanders and chief around here. Did those planes have to be parked like that, way out in the edge of the field? Standard dispersal procedure, General. In case of enemy air attack. There are 130,000 Japanese on this island. Our main problem is sabotage. It'd be too easy for enemy agents to sneak in at night and blow up every damn one of those planes if they're left out there. <laughs> Pros and cons to keeping them apart from each other, huh? <laughs> well, they got there some sweet rolls. うん。クリスマスアンボはまた穴ごもりを始めました。今日の会食は so, I'm going to go to the plan. 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 i Maintain a thorough 360 degree search of the Hawaiian area during daylight. This will require a force of 180 B 17 airplanes. It's a lot of planes. It looks fine on paper. It's not a paper fleet out there. I feel like I've heard that before. It looks fine on paper, but it's not a paper fleet out there. Not one bomb anywhere near the target for the past hour. Oh no. Now 
That's more like it. Maybe your boys are finally getting the reins. I hope so, sir. <laughs> Lieutenant Dickinson. Well, you can tell Lieutenant Dickinson for me he couldn't hit a bull in the butt with a bass fiddle. <laughs> yes, sir. A bass fiddle? I don't, I'm not sure I know what that means. <laughs> That peak up there is the ideal spot to put our main radar post. He looks a little like the old guy from Pet Cemetery. Herman Munster? No, I'm thinking somebody else. Uh, little Big League. He's the grandpa from Little Big League. <laughs> His job posting didn't last long. No use, Al. I spoke to General Miles. The order stands. The president is off the alpha list. Hmm. Holding information from the president. <laughs> A security man found a copy of one of our intercepts in a wastebasket at the White House. Mm. Can't be trusted. Does anyone trust anyone anymore? Do you even trust your own wife? Do you? Mostly. Therefore, we will impose a full embargo on all trade with Japan. Pretty sure. Billy's grandpa from a league of their own. No. No. What? Uh, Little Big League. League of Their Own is a totally different movie. <laughs> it took a place about this time. It did. <laughs> this is Captain Earl. We're going on full alert. Yes, Cap. We're going on full alert. Notify all ship, sub, and air patrol. Sound the alarms. Now, all aircraft not being ready for flight from now on will be parked together in the center of the field where they can be kept under guard day and night. Suppose there's an air raid. They hit one plane and the whole shebang goes up in flames. Well, I'm sorry. General's orders. You should put half in a circle and then keep the half separated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Split the difference, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <笑>攻撃をかける必要があるのは新人は寄りまず軍令部です新人は寄りまず軍令部です新人は寄りまず軍令部です新人は寄りまず軍令部です新人は寄りまず軍令部です新人は寄りまず軍令部です新人は寄
and you'll... I was just going to say, they're probably scaring the fish away. Well, it's not an ideal radar site, but at least we've got a permit. It's probably That's... on the south side of the island. Wrong side. And they're going to be attacking from the north. You two stay put and keep watching that screen. In two hours, close down. I'll send a truck back to pick you up. Excuse me, sir, but what are we watching for? Anything unusual. Any large blip coming from the sea. Yeah, blips and bloops. If we do spot something, what do we do? Report it to headquarters, damn it. How? We haven't got a telephone, sir. There's a gasoline station about a mile down the road. They must have a phone. <sighs> oh, jeez. Flawed system, guys. Flawed system. What's even the point of having it if you got to run a mile and a half to notify anybody? You two men get in your planes and fly over to Holly Eva. Yes. May I ask what our orders are when we get there, sir? Just sit tight. Listen for the phone. That's all. He's got a feeling. We send those two up there. Two more here. Only way I know to disperse a few of the planes. It's like, get this plane out of this pile. And... You know why we're being transferred. Them poker games. これは明らかに戦争は避けようという未国労を述べられたものだと思いますが。ですからこの際、外国交渉に力を尽くして、ワセルも決する日時は10月下旬という条件で交渉に成功する自信が終わりですか？So we're not even to October yet, so. Nomura has offered his resignation several times, but Tokyo won't let him quit. Instead, they're sending a second ambassador, Kurusu, to help him out. When he was ambassador in Berlin, he signed the Axis Pact in behalf of Japan. Oh, great! So he's like the pro-war ambassador. の午前1時までに出動部隊に引き上げを命ずるから出て行ってから帰ってくるんですかそれは無理ですもし和平の道が開けそれゆえ帰れと命ずられてなお帰れぬと考える指揮官があるならばただいま直ちに任を解く即
空母一だ。いや、他の敵空母に関しては、何らの情報もない。これは、having them exit the port like every morning at dawn and patrolling around the island and then coming back just daily. I don't know. Might be a lot of fuel though. 今夜180度線の日付変更線を通過するわけですここを通るときは本来ならば時計を5時間進ませて今日昨日にするわけだバカ言っちゃいけない今日は昨日に戻るわけがないじゃねえかお前はねずっと前からこう弱いからさ<笑>よくわからんないけどええー、つまりなんだね180度線を挟んで敵に出会ったら攻撃してもダメだなどうしてどうしてって、昨日の敵に今日の球は当たるわけないだろう。あ<笑>っ、ハッ、おばあ。ハッ。いや、the international date line。that's。it is a。confusing。for sure。I don't know about you。but I know what I'm gonna do。miss cave where is everybody。Oh, well, it's past twelve, sir. They've already gone. Well, get them back. On the weekend? Yes, on the weekend. He's ready. Kunden no Kayokwa, New Den Shai, Sumiaka ni Okona Ustio Marius. Den Shinkai Stoko to Itokimasa. So they're ready to get decoded, and we're also ready in our little computer room. Engine made it over. Eaten your eaten in cup. Oh boy. これがハワイの音か。Here we go. Battle speed. いつかにレキシントンが出航して、真珠湾に空母が一隻もおらんちゅうのは面白ないな。You still got every other thing there. Late. Well, I was. Please take me to the White House. Shit's going down, honey. <laughs> It's Saturday night in Washington D.C. Not a day to be late. Well, if you told me we were invited to the White House, I would have dressed. You're not. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Learning to memorize all the ships based on their shape. Yeah. That car looks really skinny. Well, Captain Wilkinson's. Yeah, it just looks very narrow, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They're sitting shoulder to shoulder. Darling, step on it, will you? He is very stressed out. Yeah. What are you telling me, Mr. I'm interested to see what the radar guys, if they're still working there, they see this stuff coming in. They have to run a mile to get to the gas station. Admiral Stark can't be reached. Should I take this to the chief of staff? Well, it's after ten. General Marshall always retires early. Uh, wake his ass up. I see no reason to disturb Marshall with something that's incomplete. Uh, wait till you have the final part. <laughs> It'll final be parts, bombed by then. The final part might be the immediate action. The president has already discussed it with me. He sent a personal message to the emperor. But when the final part of this comes in, I'd like to see it then. You think that final part is Torah, Torah, Torah. Yeah. Does that mean like? So they're 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 on their way to point bomb, E. Bomb, e bomb. is like the last point. If mm -hmm. they get the message, then that's when they attack or they turn back. Did you tell me anything? Give me a hint. Where did you get a hot dog? His wife gave it to him. He's got a good wife. Yeah, I love it when you give me hot dogs. Hot dog and a Coke. Sir, report to the new radar center at Fort Shafter at 0400. At four o'clock in the morning, from four to seven a.m., our marvel of science only operates for three hours. That's only at dawn. That's yeah, should be the window. But again, if it takes them an hour to notify anybody, yeah. not ideal. 
Here we go. So East Coast morning. Yeah. I'm trying to remember how far ahead. It's gonna be like seven hours ahead. I think they're two hours behind us, right? Hawaii. Uh -huh. Yeah. So maybe five hours in. Could be. これによって交渉を振り出しに戻すことはできます。それにしても遅すぎたよ。もっとも一日二日早く着いていたらまた人相当あっただろうが。It's too late now. After deciphering, destroy at once your cipher machine. Have this translated immediately. Give a copy to Kramer as soon as he comes in. Yes, sir. I've got to get the hell out of here. Feels like we've had it. All the knowledge we need to be prepared for a sneak attack. Mm. Just that guy was a, a week early, so everybody was like, oh, no, he was happening. wrong, I guess. Not wrong, just early. Oh, well, here's the radar, guys. Hey, look at this. Oh, they got him a phone. Finally got one. Oh, goodness. Oh, just in time. I'm sorry, sir. The general isn't here. Church? Well, where he always is, sir, this time Sunday morning. Riding his horse? <laughs> no, he's walking his dog. Where's Colonel Bracken? He's going to see General Marshall. He left this for you, sir. Why don't we wait for the rest of the message to come through? I think that was the final message. They're, it's through, they're deciphering it still. Wait till they f f freaking decipher it first. They're just running around telling people that they're going to destroy their decipher machine after they get this final message. Well, fucking great, what's the final message? None of us doubt that war is coming. We know they have an expeditionary force heading south. Sir, as hostilities seem imminent, may I recommend that you telephone Admiral Kimmel in Hawaii? Oh, yeah, Hawaii's south, isn't it? No. I'd better call the president first. Could add a two-hour prep time. Yeah, I mean, like, it annoys me that he's just sitting there thinking about it, taking his sweet-ass time. Intermission? Oh, I'm going to go make popcorn then. Don't. I wonder if that guy actually fought in World War II, the actor. <laughs> Probably did. Their best friends? Gentlemen, start your engines. Into the wind to give them lift. Huh? Yeah. They haven't said Tora 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 yet, though. Or did we miss it? Can't see shit. I don't think the people on the, on the aircraft carriers can see, can see. They're just cheering at the sound it makes. Yeah. It's like, it's off! Yeah. It didn't go splash! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just keep fucking coming, huh? Lots of zeros. So many planes by the time the last one took off. It was daytime. Yeah. Loud. Terrifyingly beautiful. Yeah. It cannot but consider that it is impossible to reach an agreement through further negotiations. Mm -hmm. Boy. A submarine following the ship. That, Mr. Gepner, is a submarine. She's obviously trying to sneak through the net into the harbor. General quarters. Sound general quarters. All engines ahead full. Aye, aye, sir. Shh, 
still hear you. <laughs> they get it. We have a message from the ward, sir. All right, read it to me. Have dropped theft charges on sub operating in our security zone. Yeah, but you know as well as I do that the skipper that destroys a green kid, I'll pass it on to Admiral Block. With all due respect, sir, I think we should alert all commanders. Confirmation, Kaminsky. I want confirmation. Super. It's underwater. I can't see it anymore. The Empire of the Rising Sun. General Marshall wants it sent to all commanders by the fastest possible route. Right. Uh, General's handwriting. It's hard to read. You're going to have to help me with it, Roof. Meanwhile, they're running around Washington, D.C. from place to place, wasting fucking time. Big dum dums. Just gotta type it out now. Time sensitive emergencies. Hopefully, that colonel types faster than that guy. One letter at a time. Oh, riding a radio wave, huh? Major, I picked up some great music from Honolulu. Let's fly pipe it through. They've got to be close to that income and force then. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? I've been watching it for several minutes. I've never seen anything that big. Joe, we got to contact the information center. Hell, our problem's over at 7 o'clock. Well, don't worry about it. Boys at Apana Point must have picked up that flight of B 17s coming in from the mainland. Oh. He thinks it's our planes. I sent this to Manila, the canal zone in San Francisco. But the direct channel to Hawaii is out. Send it as a telegram. Yes, sir. How long does that take? It's probably longer. So I think those planes are still waiting for a radio. Orders mm -hmm. to, for the final confirmation. Yep. Fifteen minutes. All oh, those pages on the ground, you must have messed up. Oh, Jesus. That's the message they're supposed to deliver by 1 p.m. I don't care if it still hasn't been confirmed. I should have been informed immediately after the ward radio the first report. Isn't he fucking in Honolulu? Yeah, he's just waking up, probably. It's Sunday morning. Here's a message for the commanding general of Fort Shafter. Uh, is it marked urgent? No. Nah, he'll do it after lunch. <laughs> what, the telegram? Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's not a stack of them there. When shit goes wrong, it's always a breakdown in communication. Always. Yep. In every after-action report, what could what could have gone better? Uh, communication. Communication could have gone better. It's a little bumpy this morning, Davy, but you have to learn to fly in all kinds of weather. Not the seal. <laughs> shit ton of fighter. Oh, boy. Not about to be doing just fine. I don't think those... About to piss your pants. They just have torpedoes. I don't think they have guns. <laughs> hey! I'm taking over, baby! Barb takes out the whole Japanese fleet. <laughs> She's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to want to know about this. He's 
He's just resting his eyes. He's in the zone, meditating a, a smidge. And so they're flying over the whole island because Honolulu's on the south side. Right. <laughs> Tora, Tora, Tora. Tora, Tora, Tora this. Really dwelling on that, or does he have to say anything? <laughs> How has nobody phoned the military base saying, oh, we've seen like a hundred Japanese planes <laughs> flying over the island? I do have guns. Get that guy's number, Dick. I'll report it for safety violations. Whoops. The band on the boat had to start playing faster. Yeah. That was going on. <laughs> Got to finish the song. Get moving. Anti air guys weren't ready. Well, you gotta wish that you lived closer, huh? Like on base or something. What in the hell is going on? The, what do you think? Get over the armor. Get guns, ammunition. You too, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. You only got half dressed. Oh, girl, all our planes lined up like sitting ducks. Yep. Looks like they're being fueled up, too, so the fuel trucks are all there. <laughs> I mean, what a way to fly into a war, unarmed and out of gas. No guns and, yeah, and no they're, gas. They've been flying the whole trip. Oy. So we've been hit. Nothing serious, though. They shot out one of the circuit boxes. I can tell that the landing gear light's not working. Better use a hand crank. Hurry. Oh, boy. Flawed system, huh? Uh oh. It's jammed. Major. No go, sir. Like I said, it's a hell of a way to fly into a war. A dude on two wheels. That's the best you could ask for with only one wheel. Yep. We haven't hit, seen any hits on their fighters. That guy was just working in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Where the hell are our fighters? Gone. Uh, blown up. Yeah, exploded. Want a confirmation, Captain? Take a look. There's your confirmation. Yeah, the guy's rightfully pissed. <laughs> yeah. Direct hit. Oh, jeez. Meanwhile, in Washington, didn't they say they were going to have to push their meeting? The ambassadors? So they never got the, the note message? written then? I don't know. So did they break Geneva Code then by attacking Pearl Harbor without the official declaration of war? I'd like you to have it confirmed before I receive Nomura and Kuroso. They're waiting outside.
Five minutes late. <laughs> Which means they were f right on time. Oh, dang. I don't think that was supposed to happen. You think that was the one that accidentally blew up on... Anything. I'll call Eva. I'll get on the starter planes, warm up the engines, go! Right. Those are the boys from the Pearl Harbor movie. That was the plane that's out of control. Oh shit, yeah, that guy is just about shit his pants right there. Uh -oh. oh. I think those are like remote planes that are supposed to blow up from the bombings and they keep going out of control and flying into where they're not supposed to. Yeah. These extras are just like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> we didn't sign up for this. These are the planes on the other airstrips. They have their flight suits on. Good luck. You're like the only two planes in the air. <laughs> it's like 85 Japanese planes. Oh. And our butts kicked here. Yeah. Can't take her through the outer channel now, not in this shape. If she goes down here, she'll block the south channel. You have to beat her over there so she's clear. With all those men in the water. What? Yeah. Here we go. Two on like 50. Oh, that's what the third guy's for, the back gunner. It's a dog fight. Whoa. That didn't seem very controlled. <laughs> Here's the message letting them know that uh, they think the oh, Pearl Harbor is going to be yeah. bombed. <laughs> the Take it to the decoding room and ask them to send it back Decoded as soon as they can. Decoded first. Yeah, that's great. This whole thing's gonna be over before that message gets yeah. decoded. What the hell are you waiting for? Water, sir. We got the water. Why not? What's wrong? It's the Arizona, sir. When she went down, she cut the pipes in the mains. Oh my God! The tank in the ocean's over there, and it's full of aviation fuel. That thing goes, Captain. will blow up at the harbor. Uh oh. So beaching the Arizona was a double not a great sword. idea. No, there was the Nevada that they beached. The Arizona just blew. Oh, okay. Arizona's the one that sunk yeah. in Pearl Harbor. It's the one you can go look at, right? They have the observation deck over the top of it. That a boy. But I never imagined until today that any government on this planet was capable of uttering them. Go. It's like, oh shit, we made a big mistake. Stand down. Mm. 
if the aircraft carriers had been at Pearl Harbor, they probably would have sent the second wave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. Like, they have done the damage. I wonder what more they could have done with the second wave attack on Pearl Harbor, but it looked pretty All of the done. ships that they needed to attack weren't there, yeah. so... All right. This just came from the decoding room. It's a cablegram from the War Department. Get a copy to Admiral Kimmel. <laughs> Be advised. We anticipate an attack. <laughs> the Japanese are presenting at 1 p.m. What amounts to an ultimatum. Significance the hour set may have, we do not know. But be on alert accordingly. Be on alert four hours later. Admiral, we don't want to get caught in here like they did. I don't intend to. When can you be ready for sea again? I finally remember where I remember him from. He's from the Green Mile. The older prisoner that mm. gets let out. Or not Green Mile, Shawshank. Shawshank, yeah. Mm, technically before, but... Nippon's Had they attacked after that declaration of war, it wouldn't have pissed us off as much, you think? <laughs> it still would have pissed us off, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But I guess it really pissed us off. Even though they pretty much had warning. They just, yeah, they just didn't fucked get... it up. He about to throw himself off this shit? <laughs> uh, that's how it ends. Wow. Torah, Torah, Torah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I like being seeing both sides mm -hmm. of the attack. Yeah. It, very fascinating and I wonder how accurate it was. Oh, they said it was historically the accurate side. in the very opening crawl. So. Was it based on a book? Yeah, based on the, the book of the same title, I think. Oh. Torah, Torah, Torah. So, okay. probably written. I wonder if it actually was two books, one from each side. I have to look at the book. Don't know. But yeah, that was interesting. Very. Yeah. Learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I knew that we had intel yes. about attack imminent on Pearl Harbor and mm -hmm. that we just didn't do anything. We, yeah, we failed to communicate it effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seeing it all roll out was kind of like oh, jeez. I know. Somebody take it of, seriously. Just a bunch of fuck-ups, right? Yeah. And uh, their attack rolled out exactly as they wanted to as a surprise attack. The only thing yeah. that we were lucky was our aircraft carriers weren't there. Or mm -hmm. Who knows how World War II would have ended in the Pacific or how it would have rolled out. Yeah. So. Well, what's on your mind? Yeah, I mean, it's date which will live in infamy, right? Yeah. Like the movie Pearl Harbor, which I've seen yeah. many times, makes it feel much darker, right? Like just like heavier. And I think it's because there's more character development for could be some of the, could the soldiers be. in that. But even like the just the the. Pearl Harbor scene. Yeah. The attack it's scene more intense. is more intense. And I thought they did a great job with the special effects because it was all like real explosions. Models yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So I thought they did pretty good work That's making it look fairly accurate. Yeah, I mean, the 1970s, they did a pretty damn good yeah. job. I wonder how much this movie costs to make if they're making replicas Probably of, a lot. of the. Japanese battleships and aircraft carriers mm -hmm. and then all the models and stuff they blew up in the harbor. So it seems like a pricey movie. Mm. Yeah. There were some recognizable actors, but mm -hmm. nobody that I really knew their name. So I think what they spent on special effects, they probably 
they the done. cheap and the, the star power, right? Well, I mean, it was the 70s. Do you really know a ton of stars from the 70s? I mean, you'd think there would have been one big star you recognize, but not really. There's just a couple of faces. I was like, who is that guy? Where have I seen him before? Yeah. Nothing concrete. Even some of the Japanese actors, I thought, oh, that guy looks like you. I recognize him from a Godzilla movie I've seen, but <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to look at IMDb and the, some of the actors' credits mm -hmm. to be sure. Well, either way, great movie. Yeah, really good movie. The one fighter, I think, I guess he was a bombardier with the bandana. Mm. So he was the most characterized. He was character. clearly, he was he clearly was the most a, developed. Yeah, he was right? clearly like a the fleet badass. God, I have no fucking words right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I remember. I think in history, reading about one of the Japanese fighters or like whatever he was having that. Yeah, you could see the yeah. recognizable fi historical figures yeah. from that time, right? So yeah. that bombardier guy, the the cook that the got cook on the that gun. got on the gun, yeah. the two fighter pilots that took that, off from the other field, exactly, and yeah. that guy that stood at that anti-air in the middle of the base and shot down planes while everything was blown up around him too i think it's yeah i think recognizable story yeah. so yep i believe so yeah yeah history lessons yeah it's always nice to be reminded it is yeah it's necessary mm. yeah what makes you grateful for what you have now and yeah. grateful to everyone that came before mm -hmm. and on this memorial day what better day to be reminded absolutely remember what should people comment on after Tora Tora Tora? How does this stack up in your Pearl Harbor movies? Yeah. How does this stack up? Or or just World War II movies in general, right? And I mean, there's quite a few of them. History and World War II buffs out there. How yeah. accurate is this film? It yeah. feels like it's... It felt like documentary accurate. Like they went to great pains to make sure everything was as it really happened. Like it didn't feel... It was very dramatized detailed. at all. It was very detailed. Informational, really, and well adapted for history. So mm -hmm. let us know how accurate that actually was. That's right. Thank you, dudes, for picking it. Yeah. And uh, like, comment, subscribe if you didn't before. Yeah, and if you want to be like dudes or maybe get your own special request in, check yeah. out our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, flood comp there, and access to pulls up to watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day.